Art lovers now have a reason to get out of the house. The Museum of Graffiti has reopened its doors for their guests to explore exclusive, world-renowned art and made changes to comply with the city's regulations for the safety of their guests and employees. The process of reopening the Museum of Graffiti was it, it was a fine process. It was a process that had us having to make sure that we comply with the new codes that the city enforced. An emergency order has been mandated by the city of Miami for all employees and customers to wear their mask when visiting local businesses. Everybody that visits must wear a mask to enter the building and also all of us, all the employees and the workers of the museum must wear a mask at all times. And if you're tired of wearing the same mask, you can get one made here at their new outdoor airbrush tent. So the tent shows people that we're open and then at the tent we do hand painted masks and also airbrush masks and it's a way for folks to get something a little bit more stylized. And so now that masks are the new norm, people want to look fresh in their mask, right? And so yeah. we give the opportunity for folks to buy something that's handmade and customized by an artist. To add to your viewing pleasure, the museum also have an indoor, glow-in-the-dark, dream state exhibition. Um, all this artwork, which is not called art, back then it was vandalism, and you know, and stuff, and now to see all this, to see where this is, from before and after, and what it's become today, it's um, it's back a lot of child industry, so it's, it's, it's a good thing. Visitors can expect the best experience of their life when they come here. They can expect to do a lot of learning, and so we are the first and only museum dedicated to the graffiti art form in the United States, and I believe in the world. And so when you come to the museum, you get a 50-year history lesson. You learn about how it started, why it started, who started it, who are the pioneers? What are the key developments? What is the artwork that was created in the 70s? What does it look like in the 80s? You get to see masterpieces from those eras. And if you're planning on visiting the museum, tickets must be purchased online at museumofgraffiti.com. Reporting from Wynwood, Tasha Sias, South Florida Media Network.